Hey guys, how's it going? You're watching the Halo Hub, and today on your screen right now is my 10th Halo 4 map review or showcase, whatever you want to call it. I have a map called Rainbow Road by Umish Day 3. It's a race track on impact, and I love this map. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Basically, it looks really nice, it plays really well, and it's got some awesome stunts just like this one at the start, which is basically a barrel roll into a huge man cannon, and it actually works quite a lot of the time as well. Um, it does get a bit clogged up with that queue because obviously you have to be going straight for it to work and uh, that's what the walls are but um, yeah that teleport right there is to like combat that but I think the teleport should have been made a little bit more prominent because a lot of people didn't notice it you know it should have been put next to the man cannon and right there that's where the teleport comes out and you can see that it actually works quite a lot of the time which is really surprising that must have taken ages to get to work because it's such a ridiculously big jump and you're doing like two 360s um, and yeah, I think it's just a really good map. It looks nice, it plays well. I think I've already said that. I've done a few takes of this. Uh, we're jumping on board with Power Frogger now, uh, just for a, my favourite part of this map when you're going through the station cores, all different colours. Basically, the whole map is different colours and it just looks really good. And you know, stuff like that, it's just, it's just nice little things to change it up and to make it look better. That's the hill, it's pretty much foolproof, and I love the shields as well bouncing. It's a throwback to kind of Halo 3 style because Halo 3 shield doors were really bouncy and Halo Reach ones were kind of a letdown and you could go through them sometimes so yeah we're doing a uh, first person mode now and as you can see when you come around this corner you kind of like funneled into this just to make the what is it barrel roll thingy work so that's what gets clogged up and people clog it up deliberately because they're retarded um, but right there you see that it works pretty well you know you're not um, as long as you are a somewhat decent driver you can pretty much manage that and then you get onto a kind of roller coaster single wide kind of thing um, I just really like it, you guys should definitely download it, it's in Omish Day 3's file share um, and the game type is racetracks, just the regular like official Halo Tracks 1 or whatever pretty much anything work with it, anything will work with it and you can see how all the pieces are different colours which just really finishes the map off awesome map, um, I, <laughs> what's really annoying is I found this on his file share while I was looking for a uh, firing range which I don't really like so I'm not going to be featuring it, I just think it's kind of boring um, and I thought, oh yeah, look, this this is going to be nice, but like loads of other people have already featured it. But oh well, why not? You, not all of you are subscribed to the other channels that featured it, so yeah, uh, that's a really nice work there with gravity volumes as well, just to like push you from side to side. It took me a while to figure out how we did that. And yeah, awesome map. Download it, and that's about it for this video, guys. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to be notified when I release my next video. This is a Halo channel, so if you like Halo and Halo 4 in specific, because that's what I'm covering then you should definitely subscribe because I do hella videos. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. So the idea of this is a flood, flood mini game kind of thing. Um, and if you're human, you just have to run away from this uh, impossible, invulnerable flood basically with damage boost and he looks really weird. And basically it's kind of scary because when you actually play it in, um, actually in a custom game, it's a lot darker than this. The effects didn't render in theater. Uh, 